Okay, so if you've ever used a MyLapse transponder, the one I have in particular is a YRC3, you have definitely had this happen, where the wires come off of it. Now, I don't know about you, but when I pay $100 for a transponder, something that's probably about, you know, $5 worth in hardware, you'd expect them to use wire that doesn't break after you bend it like, you know, two or three times. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble one of these and uh, replace the wires on it. I can see on this side I already started. It's easy to take just a utility knife like this. And just kind of go along the edges. And just pop it up like that. should be able to feel along the side of the epoxy. Yep, there we go. And then once that's off, it should be possible to just peel this right up. Perfect, and now we're in. This direction So I'm getting kind of longitudinally into those wires, so kind of parallel to those wires. That way hopefully we're cutting into the wire and nothing else. Okay, so at this point you can see we definitely have both the wires exposed. Um, just to be safe, I personally would prefer just to solder straight to the existing wires that are in there. Um, and if you see right here, there's kind of a little bit of a channel that's been created. I think that helps when we're soldering in the new wires, because we can kind of sit them down into that channel and then glue them in there so it's got a little bit of strain relief. Um, a transponder here. Again, I'm going to try to heat up the surface a little bit. I'll just kind of put my soldering iron on that and get a little bit in the middle here so it conducts. And you see it just flows right into there. Sorry, I'm having to use a lot of zoom here so you're not getting much detail. But um, I just put the soldering iron down on into it and just tap it with your iron. Then tap it with the uh, solder and you should be good to go. Also keep a rag or a damp sponge around to clean your soldering iron tip off. Yeah, it's really helpful to have a clean tip. So now the order that this goes in, um, the further wire to the center, if let me look this up, I believe is the negative. A little more light here, so now I'm just going to take and do the positive first. Just going to wait for these both to melt to the same temperature and it should suck to each other. Perfect. Going to do the same with the other one. But now we still have the same problem as the original transponders, where we have a fairly exposed end here where they can kind of be bent right at that solder joint, and that's not good for durability. So what I'm going to be doing is filling this gap here. See how I created this channel here? I'm going to fill that with hot glue, and then a little bit on the outside here, and then we're going to encase this in a slightly longer frame so that we can kind of pinch those wires and uh, create a little bit of strain relief. Okay, so after a little bit of 3D printing, we now have our case. And it's just going to rest in there like that. 
and I'm actually going to secure it into the bottom of the case with just a little bit of the servo tape. going to set this in here. Perfect. Now I also have my handy dandy hot glue gun. I'm going to use that to apply just a little bit of hot glue to that seam up here. Just lick my finger so I don't burn my finger when I'm trying to dab that down. And there, now we have a well secured device. Now, to add a little bit of strain relief to this, I'm actually using a TPU printed little extender bit here, so it's got a little bit of flex to it. Put a little dab of hot glue on the underside, a little hot glue dab on the top side. I'm just going to real quick push that in there as well as I can and press it down into the case. Um, so yeah, the lid of this just press fits down onto here. And to secure it, I'm going to actually just use a little bit of um, CA glue. Out there, we have our um, hopefully working transponder. And there we go, we have one working transponder. I'll have to actually bring it to the track to test it, but um, that should be about it. And we even have the MyLapse logo in there, which is nice because then we can see the uh, blinky from it instead of it just being a totally sealed off case. But yeah. Um, if you like this video, uh, please click, click like, subscribe for more types of things like this. Um, you can check out some of my other projects or my blog posts at uh, www.pilothobbies.com. Um, I'm probably going to be setting up a page there too. If you want your transponder repaired like this, I can do it the exact same way for you. Just send it to me. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Uh, good luck if you're trying to repair your own transponder.